Hello, everybody. My name is Stephen Tippy. I'm a senior product training and support analyst with FCC Ag Expert, and I'm coming to you today with just a brief tutorial video with some things you probably need to know as you're getting ready to be an employer in your operation and process payroll. So let's get started. Uh, the first place you'll want to go is to Canada.ca. You'll want to make sure that you have a payroll program account open. Um, they'll give you an account number, and that's necessary for when you're sending in money to CRA for your payroll remittances. Um, the other thing that you'll need to know and can find on that site is when your remittances are due. So uh, depending on what kind of a remitter you are, um, there's different due dates required. Um, and uh, what to do if your payroll didn't have any payroll in it. You'll still have to send in a report and they'll walk you through how to do that there. Another thing that you should be more aware of, not having to, as far as having to know everything, but knowing where to go to get the information, is um, workplace standards. You can get that here. And uh, also then for uh, health and safety insurance, whether that's WCB in your province or WSIB or uh, Quebec is CNESST, -E I believe. Um, but this website here uh, gives you links. So you can go to your province and, and find out what your organization is and uh, whether you're required to have that insurance. And if so, what are the rates that you need to calculate? And we'll use that later on. We'll use that information later on in, in a video around setting that up in the payroll system. As far as getting ready to go, uh, setting up payroll itself, there's a couple of basic things that you'll want to do within the software. So I've just logged into my account. This account, as you can see here, has never done anything to do with payroll. I don't have any employees or anything. Um, so I'm in the same boat that likely lots of you are right now with this file. The first thing I want to do is go to my People button at the top here and go to Business Information. In business information, there's a payroll and taxes tab here at the top. Select that. Once you have your payroll account number, this is where you'll need to type that in. And you'll need to have that in, not necessarily before you get going, but before your first remittance is due. That'll have to be in there. And you can also set what your remittance frequency is so that the program processes those properly for you. Um, other than that, the only other thing I would recommend doing before you get into actually setting um, your, your employees up is just cl click on the new employee button here just to come in here and you can familiarize yourself. We'll go through each of these fields um, in depth in a, in a different video, but kind of what you want to do is look in this pay types list and just make sure that it has what you're going to need. Um, and, you know, for instance, if I have something that's like a bonus, um, or maybe I want to have uh, my stat pay separated into stat worked versus stat earned, um, there's a number of different things that you could do in here. But just make sure that you have an awareness of what's there so that you know what you might need to add as you move forward. Same thing with benefits. If you have group insurance, we're going to need to add that. You're going to need to have the information for that available. And same thing for deductions. If you have any custom deductions that are required, like a, like a garnishment, or maybe um, you have employees contributing to a retirement plan of some sort, that kind of stuff, you'll need the information in order to set that up properly. And so you'll know what's there by default, which is all the basic stuff, um, but you'll know what information you need to gather in order to set up your employees, which we will be doing in the next video. The links that I went through really quickly there with the tabs across the top of the screen, um, I'm going to put all of those in the description box below the video, so you can just click there and get to the same place that I got to. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.